Hey everyone, Rob here, and we have more updates on the earthquakes and the potential re-eruption situation going in or going on at Fagelsfest in Iceland here. Now, it's Boxing Day today, so December 26th. For those of you that uh, have the whole Boxing Day, probably just North America. But let's take a look quick at the map. There's been a couple earthquakes over the day, uh, not quite as many as yesterday, but you can see here on the map they are spreading out more and more and they're not concentrated quite in one area anymore. Now, so for today, they said at uh, 325 there was a magnitude 3.9 earthquake and one minute later there was another magnitude 3.6 earthquake in this area and they're both located just over three kilometers west of Klefefat which is this uh, large lake here. And now this morning, about 10 minutes past five, there was four earthquakes that were measured um, around a magnitude of three in the same area. And these earthquakes are interpreted, according to the meteorological office here in Iceland, as earthquakes, obviously, and believe that the cause can be traced to increased pressure at Fagrasfell due to magma accumulation. And they said yesterday, which was Christmas Day, more than 3,000 earthquakes were measured at Fagelsfell, and the largest, which was 4.2, uh, occurred at just about 7.30 in the morning on Christmas Day. And I, if you watched the video from yesterday, I talked about that kind of helping wake me up. Now, since the start of the eruption, they're saying there had been about 15,000 earthquakes detected, of which 14 are 4.0 or larger and so by the when they're saying the start they mean this new cluster of earthquakes if we take a look at the table here one thing that i noticed taking a look at the earthquakes over the past day we can see here i'm recording this at uh, 10 p.m that uh, there's not a huge amount of really really big ones over the past little while but most of them if we're looking down at this location on the right hand side here we can see most of them that are occurring in the crucifix area uh, and which is a turn from what we've been seeing, you know, we can see these are all in Krusevik. Yesterday, we saw a lot of them in the Fagelsfeld area, and now we are, so we can see here, now we're getting into the ones that were in Fagelsfeld, uh, and those, you know, earlier today. But a lot of the recent ones have been in the uh, Krusevik area. We can scroll way down, we can see a whole bunch of them, but we can see, again, a lot of them Fagelsfeld, and not so many in Krusevik until we come to today. And that's where we're seeing this pattern. If we go back to the map, uh, the area that we're talking about is, let me just zoom in here for you so you get a good look. So this is the area in this part here. And this is the lake where we had uh, this larger earthquake. And you can see all the stars representing magnitudes that are three or above. So really something to take a look at. There's a, another interesting piece of information that has come out and that's uh, this image here I'm going to zoom in and this was released today and uh, the update on this is of course the earthquake activity in the Reykjanes Peninsula has been continuing and as I just said there's over 3,000 earthquakes recorded pretty much every day since this started this swarm of earthquakes started on December 21st um, now there are no signs of magma accumulation elsewhere than at Fagelsfeld. And so that's a, that's a key point that they're trying to emphasize here is that it's still kind of the known areas and it's not spreading as much as people may have anticipated it could have been. But there are trigger earthquakes also near Grindavik, Klevabot, as we said, but it's believed that their cause is traced to the increased pressure at Fagelsfeld due to the accumulating magma. Um, and then, of course, the greatest trigger earthquake activity was just north of Greenovic on Christmas Eve when there was three earthquakes in magnitude of 4.0 measured and you know, the largest one in the area is 4.8, 4.9, something in that, in that area. But we can see here that there's, on this image here, there's clear deformation marks that can be seen in this latest INSAR satellite image covering the period from December 20th to 26th. So this is from today. The deformation that is taking place now is very similar, they're saying, on the meteorological office. It's very similar to the deformation that was seen at the end of February uh, 2021 when magma formation was forming under the area of, or near, or at, Fagrosfet. And these results are consistent with GPS measurements showing deformation in the same area. Now, following all of this, we can 
now understand why the Civil Protection Agency uh, here in Iceland released something on their Facebook page. And then they said the Civil Defense and the Chief of Police in Sotones has decided to activate text messages that will be sent to people who enter a predefined area due to the earthquakes that have started again in the Fagersfeld area. And we can see here a map of some of the earthquakes. Now, this is done because an eruption could start at short notice. And in the event of an eruption, text messages will be turned into a direct warning in the area of, in question. It can't be ruled out that the text message is sent to people only outside a defined area. And so they're saying it's just asked to keep this in mind. And they're just flat out warning people not to go for a walk around this area. Uh, in particular, with all of this uncertainty occurring right now. So that's something to also keep in mind there's a lot uh, a lot going on one other thing that i read before we sort of sign off on today is a lot of people were kind of joking around saying that you know this one ended and then another eruption started and then once that one ended and hit the three months of that being you know finished and no lava going a couple days later these earthquakes started up again it was in the news that that happened, of course, but it is a pure coincidence. I don't think that these earthquakes around the or these eruptions around the world are triggering one another, um, but it is kind of a funny coincidence, I guess. So that's it. I mean, there's quite a bit of news. It's Boxing Day. There's a lot to cover, and um, these people are working hard, keeping an eye on what's going on, which is always very good. And I wanted to get this deformation map and let you know about the magma accumulation and basically how it's looking very very similar to what we saw in february before the eruption went off the first time so we will see what happens so until next time thank you always so much for watching and listening and if you like it you know hit like subscribe share it with your friends whatever you want to do we've got some little webcams up because of the thanks to Roove and uh, some tremor charts if you want to follow that on the live streams so until next time thanks so much